In this video, we are going to continue with the discriminant and nature of roots of quadratic equations. You can find this on page 18 in the Namibia IS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Determine the value of an unknown given one root. So basically they will give you one of the values of x that will be the solution of this equation, meaning that it will make the left hand side equal to the right hand side. And then by substituting it into that, you will find the unknown and then you will also be able to find the other root. Because remember, what is a root? It's, it's, it's the values of x, it's if you the parable say if it's a parable it's where it cuts the x axis okay so if one of the roots uh, of the equation is this is 2 determine the value of m so then i'm just going to substitute in the place of x i'm going to substitute 2 and then i'm going to get that m is equal to 3 and now i can find the other root by substituting the 3 in there, 3 plus 1, so there's my equation. Then I factorize, and then I will see both roots. So the other root is negative 6. Not so difficult. Okay. I want you to stop the video. I think this too is very, very easy. So I'm going to do a little bit more difficult one in this video. So let's stop the video and do number 3. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number 3. If one of the roots of the equation is m, do you see? That is why I said it's a bit, it's not a value now. So, but you do exactly the same. So let's first write down the, the equation. There is the equation. Just copy it always. So it's going to be 4x squared minus m plus 3, x minus 3m is equal to zero. Okay, so if one of them is m, so I'm just going to substitute in the place of x, m, okay, because it's now concentrating a little bit, so here I will x put m in. Instead of I was putting always the values in, now I just put m in. So it's going to be 4m squared minus m plus 3m minus 3m equals 0. Okay, so uh, I, I prefer that the m is standing there, but it's not. I think in this level you can handle it. So this is negative, it's negative m times m, so it's negative m squared. This is going to be negative m times 3, so it's negative 3m minus 3m equals 0. And if I simplify this, this is going to give me 4m squared. No, 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 I could have already simplified, sorry. Let's go back. Okay. Oh, oh, it's so easy. This too is like. Okay, so basically, it's going to be 3m squared minus 6m equals 0. Okay, and now you can first divide it by 3. It's always good to work with simplified equations. So, but now I can take, it's a common factor. I still factorize, but it's a common factor. So it's m minus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore, m is equal to 0 or m is equal to 2. Okay, so find the two values of m. Now, this is number A, now I go to number B. Uh, they say, find the other roots for each of these values. So I must, I must work with both. That's why I said I gave you this one. So in the, in the, I'm just going to put in m now. So let's first put 0. So it's going to, I'll just keep it yellow. Okay, this is my yellow one. So it's going to be 4x squared minus, minus 0 plus 3x minus 3, 0 is equal to 0. So 4x squared minus 3x, and this is going to just be 0, so it's equal to 0. So I can again go and I take out x as a common factor. 
So it's going to be 4x minus 3 equals 0. So therefore, x is equal to 0 or, um, okay, 4x, I could have already do it in this thing, um, equals to 3, do you see? So x is equal to 3 quarters. So that, so if m, I could even say it here, so if m equals 0, then this. Now we go on by saying if m is equal to 2, okay, now I'm just going to substitute 2. So I'm going to say 4x squared minus, and now I put the 2, 2 plus 3m minus 3m. Uh, okay, let's just, let's see, oh, I think I substitute incorrectly now there. I know what's the problem. I, I, did, I moved it too far up. I'm going to just move it a little bit down. I must focus here. Do you see there? Okay, because I substitute in M. And there I was putting the X in, so just focus there. So it, it was correct, but there was an X. I did it correct with the yellow. Um, minus, and then it's going to be 3, and what is M? M is going to be 2. Okay, now I can move it up. Okay. So then I'm going to have 4x squared minus 5x minus 6, and that's equal to 0. Okay. Now I'm going to remember this is, oh, you must be able to factorize, otherwise go back to ordinary level. This is in group B. So it's 3 and 2. I'm testing to see if 3 and 2 will give it to me. And 4 and 1, it's, it's subtract. So it's 8 minus 3 is 5. Ah, excellent. And the biggest over cross product will get a negative, and then it's opposite sign. So this is a positive, and this is x, and this is x. So I will get, there's my factorize. No, I want to make it yellow, oh, yellow green. So 4x plus 3, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore, 4x equals negative 3, or x is equal to 2. So therefore, x is equal to negative 3 quarters, or x is equal to 2. So if m is 0, this is my two answers. If m is equal to 2, then this will be my two answers. And that's what they said. Find the other root for each of the value. Okay, I could even go a little bit further, because can you see, if, if the other root, so I could say, therefore, the other root is, because it was 0, so the other root is 3 quarters. And again, now it was 2, so the other root was this. So therefore, the other root is x equals negative 3 quarters point final. Okay, it's always very good. If, especially if it's in type of word sums, to read the question again and to make sure that you 100% answer what they were asking you.